Hello car fans, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the updated version of the Android Auto. I do videos like this all the time, so if you wanna see more, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. If you have trouble setting up your Android Auto, check out my video of common Android Auto issues, how to fix them, troubleshooting. If you need to learn how to set up and connect to Android Auto, I also have a video setting up and initializing your Android Auto in your car. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out those two videos. Let's get started. All we have to do is plug our phone in to the cable here. Wow, right away I noticed Google's new color palette. So you can see um, it is a dark background, a little different from uh, the blue contrasting background that we saw in the older version. Um, very, very nice, easy to read fonts. Everything's nice and big here um, with the ba black background. That looks great. Um, again, I also see the app launcher. So when I push this, it's gonna go right into my app launcher and it's gonna show my recently used apps at the top. That makes things a lot easier. Last time um, you would have to scroll through and find the app in your app drawer each time and the, if you use a recent one, it was all listed in alphabetical order, you would still have to scroll through the bottom. Um, another thing that I really noticed is the notification bar. So we do have the notification bar here. That's gonna make it easier to see your notifications. So here's all my notifications. You can see my text messages, my WhatsApp, anything like Google Hangouts or Facebook Messenger is gonna show up here as well. Okay, down below it's gonna show my music app right here, which is um, a new feature as well. I can control my music so I don't have to go back and forth through the different apps to change my music. You can see I can skip through the song that I'm playing here. Um, I can pause it as well. Um, and then I can click the, the app and it's gonna open up that app if I wanna access that app directly. Here you can see it's right in here now. Um, it will go back to my recent app. It's always gonna show your previous recent app right on the screen below, which makes it very easy to navigate through screens. Things like changing music and going back to your maps is very easy. As you can see, the maps look very, very similar. You can do things like the pinch to zoom. Google Maps are gonna come up right here. Again, I'm gonna blur out everything just for privacy purposes, but the Google Maps works great. Um, you can use the touch screen as well. So thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Check out my two other videos on the Android Auto, how to set up and how to connect and troubleshooting if you're having issues connecting. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. I hope you enjoy the new update for the Android Auto. It's all for the better and please let me know what you think.